Hey friends, Nora and I are doing an overnight trip at Congaree National Park. Um, just kind of getting some trail time. It's just a one mile hike into the primitive campsites here. Uh, it's one of my favorite local places to come camp, especially in the late fall and early winter. It's just super mild. You still have days that are like in the 50s and 60s and nights that typically don't get below the upper 30s. So it's a really nice place to come this time of year. And this is just sort of a on the trail update video. I want to share with you some of my plans this winter or ideas for plans this winter. So last year I took a break and this year I'm not really intending to do that. I'm probably not going to be doing full-fledged backpacking trips over the winter. I've got several big projects I shared in the last update with you. Add to that now the Art Lobe Trail video to work on and the journal, the itinerary, everything that goes along with that. But I do want to stay more active this winter than I have in the past. I typically just do local day hikes. I don't take full trips. I don't really like the cold, but I would like to make it my goal to be more active and at least camp a little bit more over the winter. And so I want to just share some of the ideas I have. One of which I am pretty excited about and got the idea to do last year, but it never really worked out, is beach backpacking or beach camping. And I've got a couple coastal destinations in mind, but the one that I would really love to do this winter is Cape Lookout. There's a lot of opportunities there and it's about as primitive as it gets. Um, you pretty much have to pack in your own firewood, your own water, and you've got miles of beach to walk and pretty much just pay for your ferry and find your campsite. And it's one of the few beaches in the US, uh, I'll double check the fact, but it's one of the few uh, beaches that get the certification or whatever it is that does not have a bunch of light pollution where you can really appreciate and be able to see the stars for what they really are without all that extra man-made light kind of interrupting. I've also thought about and been considering this winter doing some kind of camping. Are you trying to take my firewood away? What are you doing? That's not yours. That's not yours. Get out of here. I've been thinking about just exploring different state parks I haven't been to across North Carolina, South Carolina, maybe Georgia. Georgia's a bit of a drive uh, for me, but um, just going to different campgrounds that have either backcountry camping or more primitive camping and just exploring those areas. Like I said, to stay more active and do more than just local day hikes, but also not throwing myself fully out there into, you know, winter backpacking, especially in snow and ice. I know for a lot of people that is their jam. And for me, it is just not. 
something I forgot to mention, so I'm interrupting to talk about now, is in January I'm doing another Q&A video. We did one in August, not of this year, but 2021, and it was a lot of fun getting to answer all your questions. Y'all were so thoughtful in the things that you asked and just the variety of topics we got to cover. So we're going to do that again. And if you'd like to submit a question, there's a couple ways that you can do that. First of which is just dropping your question in the comment section of this video. You can also send me an email. It's seagrass to sassafras at gmail.com. Or you can head on over to the website, seagrass to sassafras.com. And there is a form right there on the homepage where you can submit your question. I'll be collecting questions until December 31st and then hopefully making a video answering all of those around the first week or so of January. Okay, back to the rest of the update. The last idea I had is to explore a little more of the URIs. We had a great time back in February doing the figure eight that connects with the Dutchman Creek Trail. That was a really great time of year to do that. And so I'm looking into just what other options there are. I know there's a loop, a uh, very short like overnight loop in the Burkhead Mountain Wilderness at the northern terminus of the trail. Um, some out and backs in between, but just kind of looking into what my um, overnight and two to three day options are in the URIs as well. But I'm gonna go ahead and make dinner and take a little bit more footage here and there of just our camp. So I hope you enjoy the rest of this video. Oh, really good. 